Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. In today's video, I'm taking a look at Mathoria. It all adds up. Now, this is actually an indie game that is available for free and it's really all about math. It's it's Mathoria. It's, it's a math game. So I needed to try it because I'm always on the quest to try and find the best um, educational video games. Now, this one I've already played, so I kind of know what to expect, but I'm gonna just pretend that I, it's my first time playing, so I'm gonna actually explain to you what this game is about. Welcome to Adventures in Mathoria. Before you start, we'll be asking a few things from you. Please select the game's difficulty. I'm gonna go for uh, for hard because I'm a math teacher, I need to play on hard difficulty, so yeah. Uh, tutorial is not available in this mode. Yes, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, this game is, uh, it was actually made by, um, I believe there's a, a professor involved and it's a bunch of um, indie developers and it's made in RPG uh, Maker, which is, um, it's a RPG uh, game designer that is available for a few dollars that you can buy and will actually make these games or it will allow you to make these games um for yourself as well there's quite a lot of really awesome games that have already developed in rpg maker but anyway let's let's get in the game let's get all role playing me and get uh into the gameplay where is mom well i guess i have to find her use wsd or arrow keys to move around so this is what the game will be basically be like it's a it's a sort of like the old school nintendo rpg games similar to games like zelda and oh i should have read that but yes mom is in the library i need to go and find mom uh and essentially you play as this little boy and your goal in this game is to explore the world and help people with their problems and guess what all of their problems are math problems all of their problems are math problems uh, except for this guy he is has no problem he's a professor of some kind and do you know where, where my mother is well she passed here a while ago i think she's in the library okay i guess i'll go there Wait, can you please do me a favor? Can you deliver this package to Jimmy, the librarian? Now, <laughs> um, I don't want to make too much fun of this game because it's... I think it's their first attempt at making something um, of, of this proportion. But there's a lot of really cheesy dialogue in here. And there's actually a lot of really... Um, a lot of really cheesy things you can say about the dialogue and the gameplay, but they, they've actually put a lot of effort into this. This actually, I believe they even wore, won an award of some kind last year, but this game was officially released in 2015, on February 21st, 2015. So it's actually a relatively uh, recent game. And the coolest thing about this is that it's actually absolutely free. Uh, there is a... Um, this is my mom, by the way. There's actually uh, a donation that you can do, uh, you can make. I think it's like a dollar recommended donation, but you can also just download it for free and try it yourself. Now, it hasn't really gone all mathematical in me yet because this is still an introduction, but it's, a, it's about to. You'll see how mathematical it gets. Uh, why are you here? What the math? I'm delivering the passage to, package to the librarian. Oh, that's kind of you. I'm going home now. I'll wait for you outside until you're done. Okay, mom. Okay, well, all right. This is the library. I can actually check out the books, but I can't really read them because I need to be going, apparently. And as soon as you, as soon as you leave the library, that's when the game actually starts. What? Oh, no, we've been seen here. Hey, Rookie, can you deal with that brat over there? Sure, no problem. Catch you guys later. It's... <laughs> they stole my mom. No, my mom. Give me my mom back. For the love of Mathorius, what happened here? Here, just take this. It will help you fight that goon. <laughs> Obtain simple sword. Hey, kid, you're in serious trouble right now. So this is what the battles are like. Basically, uh, yeah, instead of just normal attacks, you have to do math. You basically have to add really quickly. 29 plus 28. Is it 50? Is it 50? I think it's 50. And as soon as you do your math correctly, you get to punch someone in the face and deal one damage. I have to do it 20 times, so bear with me. And oh, by the way, if you actually make a mistake, I just say, say 20. Uh, yeah, you get attacked and you have to take damage. Now, basically, that's what the fights are like. Now, whoever, whoever decided that you needed to do this 20 times um, was really... Okay. Oh, jeez, I couldn't even do this fast enough. It was really into math, apparently, because you, I, I need to do 20 additions here to, just to defeat one guy. Uh, all right, this is 59. Uh, okay, I'm gonna skip this fight because that's gonna take me a really long time. I should have just played on easy mode. The difference between easy and hard is that they have less health and also the math, the addition mar ma part of the math is a lot, a lot, a lot easier. 
Oh no, I was supposed to say 54. Ah, uh, I missed. All right. BRB. Oh boy, that only took me about five minutes. Um, and that's only the first battle. Yar, beaten by this kid. Impossible. I'm going to go back now. We're done here. Well, that's what the uh, the battles are like. Now let's go do a quest. I'll show you what the quests are like. Now, uh, oh wait, what what should I do? I should ask the librarian. Okay. Um, now the. The interesting thing about this is that they, they did manage to find a way to use math. The not so interesting thing is the fact that you actually have to do a lot of repetitive uh, addition just to um, defeat one one person. Um, are you the chosen one? Look, if you're really the chosen one, you'll have to go to Adsville. It's the village north of here. When you get there, talk to Chief. He will help you find your mom. Let me fix you a bit. And there. Alright, so he healed me. Now, um, I, I do enjoy these types of RPG games, um, but the thing is, usually long battles are really tedious in RPG games. And this, this type of technique, I mean, you know, having doing addition for every single move makes it even longer. So I'm not sure if this is actually going to be very popular with kids. Um, I do like how they've actually introduced these um, elements. Uh, but I'm not sure if this was a good choice and basically, you know, doing one addition to defeat one enemy would probably be a good, pretty fun, but doing 20, like I actually have to do 20 more to defeat that other guy right there. That's standing right by the house uh, or, you know, in front of the house. Now, this guy also has a problem and this is actually how you do quests. Um, hey, I got a problem here. Can you help me? My sister bought 621 eggs a while ago, but my mother forgot that my sister bought eggs, so she bought 530 eggs. How many eggs did my mother and sister buy? It, that, it's, a, it's a game. It's supposed to be fun. You're making me do math problems. And I'm a math teacher and I'm not finding this fun. Alright, let's do this. Am I seriously doing this in a, in a game? I mean, I, I like I like this, but I don't I don't like this. I, I'm seriously considering not playing this anymore because it's making me do a math problem inside the game. I mean, this is like this is basically educational games at their worst. Uh, all right, so yeah, the answer is obviously. So this is going to be one one five one. I think it's one one five one. Let's see if that solves it. Hey, you're right. Thanks for helping me. Here, have this. Obtain a lesser health potion. You can view consumable under items. So basically, as you progress through this game and as you solve these interesting word problems that we all love so much, right? And as you battle these monsters... I'm gonna try to avoid this guy. Oh, I can't even avoid him. I have to fight him now. And as you basically battle these dudes by... Do oh my god, 30. 30. No. He has 30 life. That's 30, 30 math addition problems. <sighs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Uh, oh no, I can go. How, how do I go back? No, go back. I don't want to take my. Uh, I accidentally drank my potion. Recovered five H hit points. All right, so let's. Oh my god, this is crazy. Am I actually gonna have to do this 30 times? Oh, okay, no, 15 times because he does take two damage. All right, well, let's do this. Now, I mean, the good thing is that you actually drill in addition here. That's that's a good thing, right? The bad thing is that there's no way, no way, there's not a single child that's going to enjoy this. And I mean, I may sound pretty negative here, but I am not enjoying this, and I am a math teacher. How as it? How is an elementary student who's trying to learn addition going to enjoy this? Well, here goes my second battle, and I won, and I got a health potion. Excellent. Okay, let's, uh, oh, he's still here. Just go along, King, don't bother. He didn't even leave. Um, excuse me, can you, uh, can you help me with another math problem? 606 people went to see the first play, then 588 people went to see the second show. The last show had an audience of 643 people. How many people went to these three shows? Face palm. All right, let's do this. Uh, now, this is how much I enjoy this game. I'm actually going to use a calculator to solve this because I don't want to do the mental addition. Because why would I? Because why would anyone? 1837. Um, yeah, so my problem with a lot of education games is that they really try hard to introduce stereotypical classroom 
uh, topics, classroom examples, and turn them into games. It just doesn't work. Uh, you are more likely to have success with games like Minecraft in teaching math than you are to have success by taking RPG Maker and putting a bunch of math problems in it. I mean, I do like the environment they've created. This is actually really awesome. Like, look at the effects, the music. Like, this is an excellent game. It just, it's not meant to be a math game. Not in a way that it's been created. You, you can't just change game mechanics into math problems and expect this to be fun. And I'm sure this has a great story. Actually, if you are, if you're willing to play through this, I would recommend doing this on easy mode because here I talked to the chef or chief, I guess. Chef? Chef is a guy that cooks. Oh no, not another problem. No, 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 no. Um, if you are play, going to play through this, which you really should uh, at least try this. Um, because this is an excellent RPG maker game. And they've definitely put a lot of effort into making this. But uh, do this on easy mode because you won't have to suffer through long battles. No secret? There's no secret. Uh, or difficult problems, work problems. Now, basically this is the game in natural. You do discover new skills, you discover new um, weapons. Just like in any RPG game, have you seen my daughter around? Uh, you complete quests, you complete side quests, you learn a bit of a story in this game, um, and you do battles, but unfortunately the battles are... <laughs> look at the flowers, look at them! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I, I shall... I will look at them. Uh, and there's, there's quite a lot of humor in here, too. This, this is a fun game, it just... I don't... I think I picked the flowers. Why? Okay. Why? I don't think I would enjoy playing this uh, or recommend this to any of my students because even though they might be struggling in math, this will not make them math, uh, learn math any better. It will make them suffer through tedious battles and I highly doubt they'll actually learn addition any better. Anyway, I think I'm actually, I'm gonna pause this here. If you do want to play this, description, uh, I mean, sorry, the link for this game is in the description below. Do check it out. Um, and I really hope the other game developers take this as a warning. The game mechanics should not be mixed with lesson mechanics. You can't make a game by combining it with simple arithmetics. Uh, you need to really put some thinking into the actual gameplay and make it fun, make it interactive, make it interesting. And this game is interesting, it is interactive, it's just lacking the game mechanics that make the games fun. They added a lot of math stuff that is not as fun. Okay, what, are, what am I doing? What am I doing? What is my quest? Like I said, do give this a try if you really like RPG games, but if you're a math teacher or any kind of a teacher, avoid these games, just avoid them like a plague. They will not help you in class and they will not make this fun or teach your students math. They will simply make them suffer through a tedious boredom that you force them to live through. This is probably a fun game to play, not as a math game. I would definitely play this if it didn't have the tedious mechanics, uh, but as a math game, eh, no, 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 no. Mathoria, you, unfortunately, you failed me. Um, there's plenty of other math games that I've used semi-successfully and quite successfully, but I don't think this is one of them. Anyway, I'm gonna pause this here. Is this the daughter I'm looking for? Nope, that's not her. Uh, I'm gonna pause this here and uh, thank you for watching. And if you are the developer of this game and you've watched this video and you're unfortunately sad because I made some negative comments, it's just because it's not really what you should have done. You should not have made this so tedious. I have to do 50, 15 arithmetic questions just to kill one guy. Or not, there's no murder, I guess. Defeat one guy. And not, no, that's just not fun. Anyway, I'm sorry for making this so negative. Have a good day. Bye.